welcome to the Creative Assembly YouTube channel for Total War Room 2. I am Joey Williams and you are? I'm Dominic Starr. And what are we going to be talking about today? Uh, we're going to be talking about Caesar in Gaul, which is our latest campaign uh, for Room 2. Cool. Um, we're on the main menu now, so show us around and we've got some new things available to play. Well, you can already see we have this uh, lovely new background which represents the campaign map you'll be uh, fighting on. And, uh, of course, a boar because, you know, and the talk, symbol of Gaul. Beautiful. We take it to the front end. Um, here we are, and here you have a look at the four factions you can play as. Right, who have we got? So we have Rome, evidently. Right. Uh, Julius Caesar uh, went to great lengths to uh, sort of bo boost his political power and uh, and personal wealth by conquering Gaul uh, under the pretense that he was protecting Rome, um, which obviously he was after a fashion because no one likes a barbarian invasion. No one likes it. No one likes no. that. But uh, yeah, really, he was in it for the personal wealth and glory. Um, we have the Arverni, who uh, were actually the, the Gauls who almost stopped Caesar. Uh, Vercingetorix famously almost united most of the, uh, the Western Gallic tribes, uh, was basically king of Gaul for a moment, nice. um, but didn't quite make it. The Swabia, the Germans, um, they had helped some uh, Gallic tribes sort of fight their enemies, had been invited in to get involved with the war, and then decided they liked it so much they'd stay, and uh, started uh, attacking uh, the very people who invited them there in the first place. So as the Swaby, you'll be um, attempting to conquer Gaul for yourself, much like, uh, much like Caesar did. And then, like I said before, the Nervii, they are a Belgic uh, tribe, uh, p supposedly the most warlike of all the Belgae, uh, Belgae and they are, yeah, another, another faction who are fighting desperately to stop the Romans and the Germans getting a foothold. And so those are our options. Um, who are you going to be? Well, we're going to just jump into a little Rome game because Yay. we all love Julius Caesar. Was there any doubt? Was there any in we doubt? go. Let's do it. And we are in. What a beautiful scene. Here we are. Well, you can already tell we have seasons. Yes. yes. So here we are. Yeah, it's um, rather autumnal and beautiful. It is. It Lush uh, change of colour palette compared to uh, the summer or, or spring. You can see we have new seasonal uh, weather effects, so it's raining a bit. Um, rain will come and go, uh, as will snow during the... Just in that particular area. Yeah, just, but it'll just... go, and then rain will turn up again over here. Yeah. You know, <laughs> everywhere gets weather, um, and uh, the leaves falling through the trees, all very, very nice and attractive. Mm, but do we have all of the seasons? Oh, uh, we do have all the seasons we now. We do! So uh, the campaign starts in April, mm -hmm. uh, sort of uh, spring, summer, and um, yeah, from that point on, every time a uh, season changes, you'll see the landscape change, uh, the, the colours, uh, the weather. Um, in the winter, attrition will start, so... Um, and no one likes that. No one likes that. So everywhere here you see that it's definitely quite verdant and pretty. Um, all this will be covered in snow in the winter, and you get stuck out here uh, at the end of your turn, or if you try to traverse large quantities of it uh, during your turn, you're going to lose quite a few men. Mm. And that gets worse up in the mountains, where the snow will persist into the spring, not just over winter, uh, unlike the lowlands. So yeah, here we are. Um, this is Caesar, ah, as you can there see. There he is. Yep. He's here, he's intervening, as, uh, as he's wont to do. Uh, the Swiss, the Helvetii, sorry, are trying their best to um, make their way across uh, France, uh, Gaul for reasons of wanting to escape the Germans, who are obviously trying to uh, conquer their lands and uh, are causing trouble up here. Mm. So what do we have that's specifically new, um, aside from the seasons? So yeah, well, got... seasons are lovely, as they you can are see. Lovely. Yeah. Um, well, we have a new thing, which is actually feeding back into the main campaign as well, and that is uh, you can levy troops from your clients. Um, obviously, Caesar spent a lot of time making friends with Gallic tribes or you know, convincing them to join his cause without all out conquering them. So what so you can do... So break that down for me. So for, for newer bit players that haven't really got too much in depth, um, with as minimal jargon as possible, what does that mean when in your campaign game? A faction can have a client. That is a, yep. an ally who is basically their, their servant. Mm -hmm. When you're in their lands, you can recruit units from them without having to have captured their settlement first to use it as your own base. Awesome. Simple as that. Cool. So you're passing through, you decide you need to get some new, some new men, to help in your conquest and uh, you go for it. You don't have to keep on backtracking to your own lands or recruiting mercenaries that are very expensive obviously. 
Thanks for and this is fed back into the main game as well. So if you're awesome. playing as, say, the Seleucid Empire, you'll be able to do this uh, amongst your own satrapies. Um, nice. Which is a very nice little feature. So who have you got to... There's, what, 47 tribes? Um, well, there are around 47 factions, um, not just tribes. We okay. also have uh, Massalia, who are a uh, Greek faction uh, based there, important to trade with, they're quite wealthy. But yeah, for the most part, they are tribes. There's a few uh, Germanic tribes over here. Um, Secret ones. Well, the moment they're secrets, uh, they won't be for long. Uh, and a few uh, Britannic tribes as well, up in across the pond. But uh, yeah, I mean, your job as Caesar is to either get them, bend them to your will, or destroy them outright. Obviously, playing as uh, Vercingetorix or as Bodiognatus of the Nervii, you want to get as many to your side as possible, uh, confederate their regions, um, basically rally rally everyone to your side before taking the fight back to the Romans. Um, as opposed to a civil war situation now, uh, you get too powerful and uh, let's say as the, as the Gauls, you will have a, an escalation of the Roman intervention effort. Mm. They're going to suddenly produce way more, more armies and send them into your lands to try and stop you. As you do very well with Caesar, the tribes will, be, will make a bigger effort to unite and um, well, you know, stop you from, from destroying them and taking their freedom. So we've got new tech trees? Uh, that's right, yeah. Um, bear in mind this is a uh, work in progress, so like all, not all the text is in, um, uh, all the icons necessarily, but yeah, we have the traditional text, so which you research, takes a couple of turns, uh, you invest in improving a military or, or what have you. Then we have a more politically themed uh, text. So here we have uh, support for Caesar, uh, in which case you're uh, mobilizing troops, you're appointing generals, um, getting support from Cicero, that kind of thing. And this, these happen over the course of one turn, but they'll cost you money. So you have to invest uh, a bit of your, your, your treasury into usually getting bonuses to uh, unit recruitment, um, Imperium itself, which uh, leads to obviously the, the situation where you're going to have a, a massive fight with the Gauls or a few of the Gauls against uh, the Romans. And yes, yeah, so each of these is themed. Uh, we have support for Crassus, we have uh, support for Pompey, who uh, with Caesar formed the, the Triumvirate. Um, very powerful uh, set of, of Roman power players. Awesome, I love that. So yeah, it's very nice. Different theme, different approach. Yay! Uh, can you show us um, end of turn and show us the season? Can we have a sneak peek? Yeah, right, so theme? before we go, we're going to give you a little uh, preview of winter. Now, please bear in winter mind. Winter is coming. Winter is coming. Um, it is. Uh, work in progress, so the transition is not uh, as yet finished, but um, I think you'd be happy to see when I end turn, very fast end turn times. Look Much at faster. Yes! There you go. So, ah, oh, agent exposed, very bad. You can see snow everywhere. It's fantastic. I'll take it all the way across, all the way over. It's my spy up to no good here. Snow covers the entire, or the most, uh, most of the, the world. A bit less in the south, obviously there's no attrition down here. And then uh, the more in the mountain. So that was our uh, Caesar and Gaul. I hope you enjoyed what you see. I hope you enjoyed playing it when it comes out. Um, Thanks for showing me around the map. That's I, right. I love the seasonal it changes. It is a thing of beauty. It is. Uh, the detail we've managed to get by uh, you know, having a much more zoomed in view is, um, you know, it's really helped bring the, the world to life. Yes. And, uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to, to having it complete and ready for you to conquer. This has been our Caesar and Gaul video and our Let's Play, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.